Now a sinkhole has families in a Spring Hill neighborhood on edge, literally, with a gaping hole in the ground growing at the corner of Eldridge Road and Van Allen Way. That hole's been expanding since it first opened up on Saturday night. Bill Logan is live for us this noon, as Hernando County officials now are expected to inspect the damage and offer some solutions for those nervous neighbors. Bill? That's right. They're going to be here within the hour, Dan. By about 1 o'clock, we're told that that contractor should be here to take a look at this hole, which, as you can see, has been moving and has been expanding. Since it first opened up on Saturday at about a 25-yard uh, circumference, now it's 40 yards across, more than 30 feet deep. The extent of the depression became clear enough for the folks who continued to flock here this morning for a first-hand look at the latest settling of soils. Louis Daniels didn't have to venture far, though. He lives right next door to the hole, but he told me he's not about to lose any sleep over it. I felt good last night, you know. Maybe I'm not bright enough to worry about it, or I don't know enough about the sinkhole, you know. It's a quick tutorial today, though, as the residents wait for a contractor working with Hernando County to come in and fully investigate the hole so it can get fully filled. In this area, I've seen at least a dozen over the past 10, 12 years. Dominic Sinopoli is a project manager for Tampa-based ground modification company that's done a lot of business here in Hernando, but he's got to wait for that engineering study and report before he or anyone else in the sinkhole mitigation business can do anything. Is this going to get bigger before they can get it filled in? Uh, uh, I, it would be plausible for it to get bigger. I don't know for sure, but I bet my money I'd get a little bit bigger before they fill it in. Which means it may creep closer to Lewis and his home. Oh, I, I'm thinking I'm on solid land now. And but that was on solid land, too. Until Saturday. Prior to that, so. No, you have a little concern, I guess, you know. Now, as of right now, there is one home that is still evacuated. You can see that back here, the home with this uh, huge hole taking up about a quarter of its front lawn and then the uh, driveway that dips down into that sinkhole. Uh, like I said, we are expecting that contractor from the county or working with the county to be here within the hour. He's going to have to look into the hole, measure it, see what kind of uh, composition uh, is made up down below the surface, and then try and figure out whether this needs to be filled in or mitigated in some other way so that these folks along this street can somehow get their lives stabilized again. We're reporting live this noon in Spring Hill. Bill Logan, ABC Action News.